OK, we'll have a look at October 2012 now, question 2. Our vessel has completed loading in salt water, even keel draft 5.7 is upright, effective kg is 7.25. At the time of departure, fire double bottom port and starboard are both full and contain bunkers of relative density 0.96. Each bunker tank is rectangular, has a length 18, breadth 10, depth 1.6. During the voyage, bunkers are consumed from number 5 double bottom starboard tank only and the ullage on arrival for this tank is 1.4. We need to use our hydrostatic particulars A and we need to calculate the effective metacentric height on arrival and the angle of list at the time of arrival. Of course, metacentric height is another way of saying GM. So we're looking to calculate the final GM and then the, the list. Now, we're at 5.7 metres in salt water, so that's our final displacement, if we look on the hydrostatic particulars, and that, of course, includes the weight of the uh, oil in the tanks. So what happens is we sail, and then during the voyage, we use up part of the oil from the starboard tank. So what we're going to have to do is find out how much weight uh, we've used from the starboard tank, and then work out our GM. So at even keel 5.7, our displacement in salt water is 11625 from the hydrostatic particulars. The full tank weight, and don't forget, we're only talking about the starboard tank here, so the port tank is irrelevant in, in this question. The full tank weight, 18 by 10 by 1.6, length by breadth by the depth, because with no ullage, it's a full tank. Multiply by 0.96 means there's a full tank weight of 276.5. On arrival, uh, the weight that's remaining is the ullage 1.4 minus the 1.6, so that's 0 0.2 is the depth, so it's 18 by 10 by 0 0.2 by 0 0.96. So on arrival we have a weight of 34.6. There's two ways that you can calculate the final kg, which then leads us to the gm. One way I've written here, we've got the initial displacement and kg 7.25. Then what I've said was, okay, let's take all the weight out of the tank, so it's minus 276.5 at 0.8 ullage, uh, sorry, 0.8 kg, because the depth of the full tank is 1.6, so therefore our kg is going to be half that, 0.8. So we would subtract that whole weight, but we haven't used it all, because we've still got 0.2 left. So then we have this 34.6 tonnes, of course the kg is 0.1, which is half the 0.2. So that means that we've still got those moments to apply and to add. So we've got the total moments, total weight, and it gives us a kg of 7.385. The other way we could do this to get the kg, we could say, okay, that's our displacement. It's like we've done above in this problem. But instead of doing 276 and 34.6, we could say, okay, that's what we've actually used up, 241.9, the difference between the two. Now the, the kg of this it's going to be 0 0.9 because when you've got the full tank and it's 1.6 to the top what's, what we're saying here is we've got 0 0.2 here which is the um, what's remaining in the tank 1.6 uh, sorry 1.4 there would be the, the, the difference 1.4 and 0 0.2 so half of 1.4 be 0.7, and of course it's 0.7 plus the 0.2 because the the oil is still there at the bottom. So the kg in this instance would be 0.9. So 241.9 times 0.9, 217.7, final moments, final weight, which are the same as the others there, and gives us a kg of 7.385. So you could do either way. Doing this first way, it you sort of it's all gone then a bit's come back and it, it helps you not to make a mistake with this second way you could make a mistake and just call your kg 0 0.7 if you're not careful but there are the, you could do it both ways then we go into the tables because our km we're not given our km so we go into the tables between displacements either side of 11383 and we interpolate to get our final km of 8.673 gm is km minus kg Therefore, our final GM is 1.288. So that's the first part solved. Second part, we not find out what list we are when we arrive at port. Well, a listing moment is a weight times a distance. 
and the weight we've discharged is 241.9. The distance, well, the breadth of the tank, it says here, is 10 metres, but of course we only use 5 metres when we're dealing with um, listing moments. So it would be 241.9 times 5, so we've got a, a listing moment 1209.6. Now we've discharged from the starboard side, so it must be a port listing moment. We must be listed to port. Don't make a mistake on this. Make sure that you put your, your list to port. So GGH is listing moments over displacement, 0 0.1065. From your formula sheet, you get that. And from your formula sheet, tan theta GGH by GM. It means that we're listed 4.72 degrees to port. So just be careful with that. Because you've taken the uh, oil from the starboard side, it would give you a list to port. And that's how you would answer that particular problem.